Little Debbie sweet yum yum snack cakes. Some people consider Little Debbie to be the weak sister to Hostess Cakes, the more well-known of the snack cake brands. However, Little Debbie snacks enjoy a loyal following that appreciates the attention to detail and variety. So where does your favorite place on the list of the top 10 Little Debbie snacks ranked worst to best? Little Debbie's Star Crunch. We eat stars and stripes for breakfast. The company describes its product as a soft, chewy cookie topped with caramel and crispy rice and coated with fudge. With caramel, crispy rice, and fudge, there is something in this treat for pretty much everyone to like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fudge Mountain. What is a little mysterious, however, is the identity of the cookie at the core of this sugary, stellar mass. The cookies are described as soft and chewy, but this isn't a lot of help because many cookies are described this way. The do-it-yourself Star Crunch recipes aren't much help because there are so many variations of this treat. Perhaps the weakness with the Star Crunch, if it has one, is the mix of flavors. Some things just don't mix. For example, for someone who loves caramel but hates crispy rice, this snack could be a turnoff. Now that the United States has created a new military branch called Space Force, perhaps the Star Crunch could be the official cookie of this high flying organization. Strawberry Shortcake Rolls. Open up, I brought strawberry shortcake and Cool Whip. Fresh strawberries are a delicious and healthy treat. Foods with artificial strawberry flavor are a different matter entirely. Little Debbie Debbie's strawberry shortcake rolls do not feature fresh strawberries wrapped in layers of sponge cake and smothered in fluffy, fresh cream. If they did, they would be delicious strawberry shortcakes. But instead, they are heavily processed imposters that Little Debbie's website describes as yellow cake rolled with layers of cream and strawberry-flavored fruit filling. It's not natural. None of it. Strawberry flavored covers a lot of ground, but this is the reality of mass processed food, which is designed to be shipped hundreds of miles and sit on shelves for days or weeks. Given these conditions, the strawberry shortcake rolls aren't terrible, and they aren't the worst Little Debbie snack cake. But the sugary goo masquerading as some form of strawberry filling is not very pretty. If you're not going to have actual strawberry shortcake with real strawberries, then you'd be better off just getting a jar of decent strawberry preserves so you can make your own fruity snack whenever you get the urge. Marshmallow Pies The perfect marshmallow to cocoa ratio. The Little Debbie chocolate marshmallow pie is very similar to the original moon pie invented by the Chattanooga Bakery in 1917. Moon pie. What a time to be alive. Genuine moon pies are still made with the distinctive round graham crackers, but the Little Debbie description of its snack pies simply refers to a pair of cookies, not specifically to graham crackers. Little Debbie's marshmallow pies come in banana flavor as well. There are also some related marshmallow snacks, such as the Marshmallow Puffs and Marshmallow Supremes. The similarity of Little Debbie's marshmallow pies with the Chattanooga Bakery's moon pies led to a head-to-head -head taste test in 2016. This blind taste test can be viewed online, but the results can be summed up as the taste test was a tie. It feels a little anticlimactic. You should be aware that there were only a pair of taste testers, so you might want to take this particular test with a generous grain of salt. The most common complaint from people who don't love Little Debbie snack cakes is that they taste too artificial, and this does seem to be the case with its marshmallow pies. Salted Caramel Cookie Bars It's a Twix! Like the Twix candy bar, which hit the store shelves in 1979, Little Debbie's salted caramel cookie bars have a distinctive cookie crunch. The similarity continues with the rich, soft caramel in the middle and a fudge coating. Got any hot fudge? Many online reviewers generally gave these salted caramel cookie bars good reviews, with a few people comparing them favorably to the Twix candy bar. 
This comparison with Twix is part of the problem, however, because they are so similar, you might as well go ahead and have an actual Twix bar. Twix is the only candy with the cookie crunch. The candy bar is likely to be found near the checkout counter, while you may have to go to the other end of the big box store you're in to track down a box of Little Debbie's salted caramel cookie bars. This snack, regardless of the similarities, deserves to be considered on its own merits. Unfortunately, these cookie bars are only okay, and so it makes sense that they are less well-known and less popular than the Twix candy bar they will always be compared to by snack lovers. Little Debbie's Zebra Cakes Yeah, yeah, that's right, a zebra. Zebra cakes are made with yellow cake and covered with white frosting and fudge stripes. There are several versions of zebra cakes other than the Little Debbie variety. The classic recipe uses chocolate wafer cookies lined up in a row and smothered in whipped cream to produce a zebra stripe effect. We're like zebras. We're not like a zebra. We are like a zebra. This homemade treat is sometimes called an icebox cake. But whatever you call it, it's a tasty combination of rich ingredients that are likely to please all but the most finicky eaters. The Little Debbie zebra cakes are pleasant tasting but are not the decadent dessert the homemade recipes promise to be. No, no, this is not what I ordered, okay? Little Debbie's zebra cakes are similar to its fancy cakes, but the latter uses white cake instead of yellow, and of course, they don't have the zebra-looking fudge stripes. Cosmic Brownies Brownie break! These are not your average everyday brownies. They are perfectly portioned chocolate treats, covered with a fudge icing, topped with a sprinkling of rainbow-colored, candy-coated chocolate chips. Wow! Chocolate with sprinkles! My favorite! Is that enough chocolatey goodness for you? These are great snacks for chocolate lovers to toss in lunch boxes, bring on picnics, or go to the beach. If you're at home, you can always warm them up a bit in the microwave and serve them with a heaping scoop of ice cream. This has to be the best way to consume Little Debbie's Cosmic Brownies. Come have some ice cream on a brownie! That said, keep in mind that this is indeed a snack and not exactly a freshly baked fun. Brownie. Sticky and sweet honey buns. Don't call me honey, honey. It's hard to go wrong with Little Debbie's honey buns. These breakfast pastries are available in glazed and iced varieties. A glass of cold milk and a honey bun makes for a perfect pairing as an afternoon or late night snack. Can I have a glass of milk? The sugary flavor of the glazed variety is similar to a glazed donut, but the addition of the cinnamon gives it a little extra kick. The online reviews of these honey buns are generally pretty mediocre, but as the reviewers point out, they are also pretty inexpensive. A box of six honey buns retails for about $2. So you're getting a good deal, because most donut shops charge you a lot more than that for half a dozen donuts. Everyone knows that fresh pastries like donuts and honey buns are much better than their processed and packaged counterparts. However, given the limitations of these kinds of mass-produced snacks, Little Debbie's honey buns hold up surprisingly well. A little tip you might want to try is to pop them in the microwave for a few seconds to give them a quick, warm and gooey makeover. Oh, it's so warm. Swiss rolls. Shall we roll on? Little Debbie's Swiss rolls hit a milestone in 2013 when the chocolate cakes with spirals of cream filling turned 50 years old. These fudge covered chocolate cakes would go well with a nice mug of hot chocolate. The combination of chocolate cake, cream filling, and fudge coating is a winner. This kind of treat has been made by a number of baking companies, including Hostess and Drake's. The Hostess version is called Ho Ho's and used to feature a Robin Hood like mascot. Come on, let's play. I've got a tip of Ho-Ho's commercial. But this character and most of the other Hostess mascots have been discontinued. The Drake's snack cake is called a yodel. <laughs> but all three treats are basically the same thing. One web company conducted a taste test to see if a generic brand of this roll cake snack would measure up to Little Debbie's classic snack. Aldi's Baker's Treat Swiss Rolls are slightly cheaper than Little Debbie's, and in a head-to-head -head taste test, the Aldi's version was judged to be very similar to its more famous sister snack. The difference in price is only a few cents per cake, so you won't break the bank if you prefer Little Debbie's Swiss Rolls to other brands like Aldi's. Oatmeal Cream Pies
Wait a minute, here comes a cream pie. If you love oatmeal cookies, then Little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies should be a part of your life. This treat features two tasty cookies with cream in between for a chewy and sweet snack. The Little Debbie site describes this snack this way. Whole grain oats, molasses, and irresistible cream filling combine to create this classic treat. And they're small enough that you'll probably want more than one. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. Be careful, however, because oatmeal cream pies contain 170 calories each, with 37% of those calories coming from fat. These nutrition facts point out the reality that even though these pies are made with oatmeal, you shouldn't confuse these treats with some kind of healthy breakfast alternative. Wait a minute! This has oats in it! These pies have been around since 1960 and have the distinction of being the first snack baked under the Little Debbie brand name. Even though it's easy to get this snack at your local store, there are plenty of recipes online, so you can make your own whenever you get a craving. It's essentially a matter of making your favorite oatmeal cookie recipe and then whipping up the cream filling to slather between a pair of the cookies. The homemade oatmeal pies recipes are relatively easy to make and promise to be delicious. But how do these recipes compare with Little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies? This is the perfect excuse to find out for yourself. Nutty Buddy Wafer Bars I bought a pack of the Nutty Buddies. Little Debbie's Nutty Buddy Wafer Bars are scrumptious fusions of tasty flavors. The snack bar consists of layers of peanut butter cream spread between crispy wafers covered with fudge. The most delicious kind of strawberry-flavored chocolate-coated fudge. The combination of crunchy and creamy makes for a great texture that is as important to the enjoyment of this snack as the peanut butter and fudge flavors. Little Debbie's Nutty Buddy shared this name with an ice cream cone that featured vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, chocolate, and peanuts. This cold and creamy treat was put out by the Seymour Ice Cream Company in Dorchester, Massachusetts. The company went out of business in the 1980s, but fans of Little Debbie's Nutty Buddy can only hope that the same fate does not ever befall McKee Foods. Or Little Debbie could also become a thing of the past. Stick around, tap that screen for another great video, show us some love, and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.